we can all agree being a teenager is tough. Now, just imagine being a teen with a parent who's a preacher. Tonight, we're going to introduce you to a young woman who says being bad was her reaction to the good book. She's just one of the stars of Lifetime's new reality show, Preacher's Daughters, poised to take the airwaves by storm, as ABC's Neil Karlinski reports. If you think following the seemingly humdrum life of church-going families wouldn't quite hit the mark for a reality show, you serve the God of God. Your faith in television is about to be tested. Look at the decision you just made. As a Christian young lady, that's not the decision you would make. Preacher's Daughters, the real and at times jarringly lustful stories of three young women and their pastor parents' struggles to rein them in. You need to focus on school. That's yes. what you need to do. I've been focusing on school and like in boys at the same time, there's no big difference. We spent a day in Central California with one of them, seemingly typical teenager Olivia Perry. When I say, oh yeah, my dad's a pastor, they're like, oh okay. Like, you must be, you know, a good girl or you don't do anything wrong. Anxious to prove her classmates wrong and fit in, Olivia spent a good chunk of her teenage years living a life filled with sin. I was hanging out with the wrong people, doing drugs, drinking, going to parties all the time and seeing boys, doing things with boys. And I honestly loved, like, the reaction that I would get when people when I would be like, yeah, my dad's a pastor and be like, oh, my God like you're a pastor's kid and you're at a party. In an unchurch-like but perhaps very reality TV-like moment, her straying from her faith and parents came with a most unexpected consequence. 18-year-old Olivia is now a single mother. Okay, hold this. Living in her parents' house with her 11-month-old daughter Eden. She says her life is finally back on track, thanks to one unforgettable weekend fueled by drugs and alcohol. What changed then? What was the moment? I got my license suspended after I got in the car accident, and then the next day I found out that I was pregnant. And the so, next day? Mm -hmm. So it was just a weekend of, whoa. <laughs> Today, her parents see baby Eden only as a blessing, but getting here wasn't easy. I felt sad and, like I said, disappointed with Olivia's choices. Um, but I would say my faith really helped me get through that. Did you question yourselves and, and your roles as parents? Did you feel at all like you failed? Yeah, I don't think any parent could watch their kids go through difficulty and not go, did I, what, did I contribute to this? So definitely. The show is filled with this sort of thing, including one preacher father's worry that his daughter will turn to porn. What's this about some porno? God, please don't ever let my daughter become a porn star. And there was the preacher mom embarrassing her daughter with a sex sermon. Activity, I am not just talking about penetration sex, okay? I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about everything. Later, the same mom grills a prospective boyfriend with a cringe-worthy interview and written contract. Have you kissed her yet? Uh, I have kissed her. You kissed? <laughs> Olivia and her family face the uncomfortable moment she has to tell her parents she isn't sure who the baby's father is. So, you know how Eden is Sean's. There's also a possibility that she could be this guy named Jay's. The critics are pouncing already. A group called One Million Moms is calling for a boycott of the show before it's aired a single episode, saying in a statement, this program is not only offensive to pastors, their daughters, and families all across the country, but to all Christians. To publicize someone's struggles for a buck and belittle pastors' daughters in the process is despicable. The Perry family strongly disagrees. They believe showing off their missteps will help others with their own challenges. You will be fairly or unfairly judged. I don't mind being accountable for the decisions I make and for the things that I do. But I think judgment from afar, you know, it's unfortunate in our culture. You know, we have a, a culture where uh, cowardly people can become very brave behind a, a laptop computer. Olivia is now enrolled in community college. She has a job and says having Eden was the best thing that could have happened. And she's no longer embarrassed to be a preacher's daughter. I'm proud of it now. I mean... I love that I'm a preacher's daughter now. I don't want to prove it wrong or, you know, rebel against that label. Like, I'm okay with it. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Oceano, California.